Hi, uh, I'm Sheldon here in uh, Petstock in South Melbourne, and we have one, one of our reps uh, from Radix, and this is Joe. Hi, Joe. How are you going? Um, today's topic uh, we're going to talk about is um, boredom in uh, your pets, uh, especially dogs, um, and uh, how to stimulate them while um, we're away at work. So, um, certain behaviors uh, can be misconstrued as bad behavior um, while we're away at work, and uh, uh, for example, things like um, barking, that could be uh, a source of um, boredom. Uh, also, chewing could be a source of boredom. And um, I'm just going to go through some toys that um, we can use to um, you know, help the dogs uh, interact or um, just to keep their minds busy um, while we're uh, away at work. So, um, Joe, can you tell me about um, some of the toys you have there? Yeah, certainly. Um, this is one of the most uh, popular dog toys on the actual market and this is actually recognised worldwide. Uh, the gong dog toys um, basically come in various sizes and they're basically a food orientated toy and once again you can fill them with literally anything that you actually uh, would feed your dog um, right through from your normal dry food right through to um, uh, your chicken wings or your chicken necks and once again they're dishwasher safe as well so once again they're a very very simple toy to actually use and the more you stuff them up and the harder it is for the dog to actually get them out the more they'll actually try to play with the toy and basically ease the boredom in the actual backyard itself so once again with these ones here we also do have um, some different types of uh, fillers that we can actually use as well things like the um, the pastes um, these ones here basically you only need a small amount of these ones here to actually uh, get the actual flavour going in the internal part and it's, it's really good to use at the very very uh, start of it so you can actually block that little top hole at the actual top there and that way it gets a nice full filling there okay. so um, that particular um, piece is designed for the Kongs? It certainly is, um, once again they've got uh, four different flavours uh, they've got a chicken, a liver a peanut butter one and also a mint one and the uh, chicken flavour is also suitable for your puppies as well so you, they start them off at pretty much of eight weeks of age so you can get that right through from the actual age of the puppy as well. Okay so all bases are covered with, in terms of flavouring? Certainly are, yeah. They also do carry um, things like your actual um, cookies. These are the um, biscuits that are actually fitted in the actual base of the Kong itself and that actually helps to actually block the actual hole up itself and once again make it a little bit harder for the actual dogs to actually get the actual food outside as well. So this will actually just depend on each different breed. Some breeds can get into it quite easily but once again the average dog will probably take about an hour to actually get it right out if you actually stick a uh, nice decent sized chicken wing inside. So once again an hour of their time is basically an hour of less boredism during the day while you're at work. Okay, um, do we have, uh, say, uh, an, a food-based product, uh, maybe like rawhide, um, you know, to uh, help uh, with the chewing, if, if, they're, if that's a behavior that, that they're out of boredom? Well, certainly chewing will actually help a fair bit because obviously uh, the more you actually stimulate the dog itself, uh, especially with food-orientated uh, products, um, once again, uh, your rawhide treats, they're available in different sizes, um, different shapes and everything else. Um, you can get these right through as big as three foot long. So once again, for your big uh, you know, um, heavy duty dogs, they can get right into one of these. And once again, it just, once, it just depends on the actual dog itself as to how quick they'll get through it. But the average dog would pretty much take probably about a week to get through this for an average sort of medium sized dog. So once again, a fairly long, decent chew on it, um, and once again, they can go back to it time in, time out. Okay. Is there um, other toys that um, we could talk about today? Yes, yeah, certainly. Um, once again, sticking with the Kong toys, um, these are really quite good. Uh, once again, they've got the little squeaker on the inside of it as well, and they're available in different characters, different shapes and different sizes sort of thing. Really good for the actual dog itself, because once again, they could actually... Uh, grab the actual tails and once again they like to thrash things around in their mouth and sort of the actual toys hitting them in the actual head itself they seem to get a lot of sort of fun and enjoyment out of that and that way this one here can actually interact with both yourself uh, playing tug of war and also giving them the chance to actually thrash that around and hit them in the head as well. Okay, that's nice.
that's just another toy, but we do have some others as well. Um, the Fat Cat products have just been introduced into the market again, and uh, once again, these ones here are quite uh, unique and different because they don't keep your normal actual stuffing inside. They actually come with a uh, bottle inside, and once again, it's quite difficult for the actual animal to get into the actual toy itself. But once again, if they do pop the actual bottle, you can just replace the actual bottle itself. So once again, the different sounds that they actually create is what they're actually looking for. So to give them some variety apart from a natural, ordinary squeaker, mm -hmm. as most people would be aware of, um, these are just unique and different, and once again, come in some different characters as well. Okay. Some of the other toys that we do have here today as well. Uh, once again, keeping in the actual uh, new sort of toys, these are actually not filled with any stuffing whatsoever, so it actually, once again, makes it a little bit easier for the actual owner to not have to go around and pick up all the mess in the backyard once they come home from work. But these ones here have a variety of different squeakers. There's about four different ones in the actual product. And once again, they like to get these and thrash them around the head as well. And once again, come in a few different shapes and a few different sizes as well. Nice one. Apart from that... Uh, obviously summer's coming up as well we've got a fantastic new one that's just hit the market which is uh, once again introduced by the Fat Cat Company itself this is called a freezing chew and the idea of this one here is the actual uh, soak it in a bit of uh, water let it soak for around 5-10 minutes let it get nice and saturated and it comes with an actual freezer bag itself and you put it in the bag chuck it in the freezer overnight and once again the next day he's got an actual proper icy pole stick chew toy so once again, they're thinking outside of the actual square that they actually live in. And once again, keeping them nice and cool in the actual nice hot wind, uh, summer. Nice one. Hmm. Well, um, there are other toys. Um, well, they're not quite toys, but um, I guess it's uh, a free thing that you could do. Um, some ideas if, it's, if the dog's kept outside. is um, If they're a digger, you could um, create a pit for them, uh, a sand pit. Uh, perhaps hide toys in the sand pit, so that gives them time to actually dig it up and treasure hunt. Uh, we have for t uh, dogs that like dipping in a pool, you could have a shell filled with water for them to play around. Ice cubes is another one, frozen ice cubes. takes a while to uh, melt and uh, for them to get through it. Um, also mixing up a bit of beef stock or chicken stock with your ice cubes also helps to actually encourage the dog to actually uh, get some sort of different flavours as well. And different flavours, correct. Mm. So there's plenty of different ways you can do it, yeah. Okay. Well, uh, that's all we have today, and uh, it's been great uh, having you guys. Uh, see you later. Catch you later.